Peggy 18. David Bell, choreographer, stuntman, and movie star. Known for such movies as Luc Besson's District 13, Babylon AD, and Brick Mansion. Bell is also the founder of Parkour, the art of movement that attracts millions of followers all over the world. He cooperated with the studio behind Dying Light, one of the most anticipated games of 2015. The definition of parkour, I would say it's an art of escape and pursuit. It's also a method of physical training using obstacles, as well as of learning how to respond to emergency situations. Behind parkour, there's a philosophy. For me, it was mainly a quest for freedom. It is a kind of active meditation, because it forces you to focus, which lets you forget the rest and get away. I like the way parkour is presented in the game. It gives you the impression of being inside, being the character. It's very realistic, the motion, the terrain analysis, the fluidity of movement. There's no downtime. You are caught in this energy that pushes you to look for another obstacle and to keep the next one in your field of vision. Along with young traceurs, we proposed several movements and tried different techniques to give a wider choice to the developers and let them decide what was more adaptable. Parkour is so broad that we had to stay within the direction and the spirit of the game. That is to be consistent with the escape aspect and immediate reaction to overcoming obstacles. The way you play is very enjoyable. This is a style that I could not find in any other game. I have tested many games that use parkour and it's the first time I have found that feeling of freedom, ease, fluidity. Playing Dying Light would be a good approach for those who have never tried parkour. They will immediately feel the comfort, the ease of movement. There is no real risk in playing, so it will make players want to try and imagine what us, traceurs, feel when we're outside on the obstacles. This desire, driven by confidence, makes you go searching for another obstacle, and this is the feeling that you get immediately while playing this game. What struck me most was playing with the Oculus Rift on. It was like being 10 again. I didn't want to stop. It was like an avatar, as if I had lost my body and reappeared in a video game. Especially because I could see my hands. For me it was magical, amazing. 